This is a continuation of my uh, disassembly and inspection of my Fairbanks Ward uh, RF40. Uh, this is the spindle that I had been uh, talking about. And I was hoping that they were roller bearings. Uh, and I found out that they are, in fact, roller bearings. And they did come apart as simple as I th was hoping that they would. These two lock nuts you could see in a previous video were screwed in right here. This is where one of the bearings rest on the top. And right here is where the bearings rest on the bottom. Now, the oil and grease that's on there obviously hasn't been touched in a while. Who knows if it's the original grease that they used upon the assembly. But what's nice that I see, maybe someone was in here before me, but this bottom bearing is an NSK bearing. So it's not like I have to do some searching for some crazy bearings. And uh, this one was made in Japan. It's a different bearing, but uh, at least we got some numbers. We can trace them down if I can't, you know, find the bearings that I'm looking for. But it came apart <clears throat> very simply. I did not need a press to uh, press this main spindle bar out. Uh, I put it on two blocks of wood and put a block of wood on top here and tapped it with a hammer a few times and it came out so it really wasn't pressed in there hard uh, but I was surprised everything looks in good shape I'm going to clean the bearings up and see if the bearings have any issues if they don't I'm going to find some high pressure grease uh, simple Wheel bearing grease, I'm sure, is going to work because that's made for high pressure for car for the weight of a car. On the bottom, there's a nut that goes in here that kind of acts as a grease seal. Uh, there's no seal on it, but you can see the amount of grease that is in there. And when you put it down over the top of the bearing, it covers up all the bearing race completely and just leaves this uh, outside ring here. So I'm sure it acts as some kind of seal. You know, that spindle really doesn't really scream, so it's not uh, going to be heating up that grease to the point where it's going to be running out. So, And I'll check the races and make sure the races are worn, and, and if anything's... Uh, Worn, we're going to replace, you know, the bearing and the race, obviously. We don't want to replace just the bearing ever. Let's see if I can uh, get some light on that inside. That's what the inside looks like. Looks like there's some metal, metal in there at one point or another. And if you look at the race or itself, it looks like uh, the bearing had been rolling in one spot but it doesn't look 